it definitely was profitable, and uh, we certainly wouldn't achieve the numbers that we would have achieved without without the Super Bowl. Business was booming for local restaurants and hotels, and it's all thanks to Super Bowl 46. Good evening, I'm Jeff Smith. Gina Quattrochi is on assignment tonight. Indianapolis's first Super Bowl is over and done with, but the economic effects of that game are still being fe felt throughout the greater Lafayette area. News Channel 18's Alex Dyro joins us now with tonight's top story. Alex? Jeff, hotel managers tell me the last of the Super Bowl fans are filtering out today, but they certainly made their impact on local businesses while they were here. Super Bowl 46 may have been won this year by the New York Giants, but local business owners are feeling like they've won a small victory as well. I'd definitely say it's probably a 20% bump from what we would normally expect in February. In a time period typically viewed as slow for restaurants and hotels, business this weekend was booming. From the restaurants to the hotels, uh, you know, we own three hotels in the city. We, we felt an impact at all three hotels and I'm certain that all of the competitors did as well. The Super Bowl can go on for another four days, I don't care. Devery Butcher, regional manager for the Courtyard Marriott in Lafayette, says filling rooms on the scale scene this weekend usually doesn't happen very often. In fact, the only other time you can expect a full house like the one the hotel just saw is on the biggest home football games of the year. If you compared it, it would be comparable to a Notre Dame game, but on, for a Notre Dame game, you would get Friday, Saturday, Sunday, for the Super Bowl, we got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Monday. So where were all the fans coming from? Well, it seems this year the winning team also put up some good numbers for traveling to the big game. At our, uh, our downtown restaurant called Red 7, we saw quite a few um, Giants fans, and they came in mass, large group. The Giants fans, they couldn't have been more pleasant. I mean, uh, you know, they, they did a fabulous job. Now, we were able to talk to a few Giants fans getting ready to head home today. They didn't want to speak on camera. They'd had a long night, but they did tell me they enjoyed their time here and that they took advantage of eating at area restaurants. Alex Dyro, News Channel 18.